We are learning of charges in the assault and robbery of federal judge Terrence Berg. Local force Sean Lay is joining us live now from just outside of the courtroom where you were this morning. Uh, and more, we've got more on those charges, Sean. And Ebra, this is really big news here because Violent Crimes Task Force, along with the FBI, been working this case since Judge Terrence Berg, U.S. District Judge, was shot back in early March. They never gave up on this case. Now they are charged. Two people charged in the shooting of the judge, but there's much more than that. Uh, this investigation leading to many others involved in other robberies. 13 cases, as a matter of fact, were linked in a crime pattern mainly targeting senior citizens who were assaulted and or robbed in their homes. Big news coming down from a one-man grand jury. 23-year-old Kevin Smith was indicted and charged with the assault and robbery of federal judge Terrence Berg last March when Berg was shot in the leg as robbers tried to force their way into his house in the city's university district. An unnamed defendant was also charged with the shooting of the judge, unnamed because he's cooperating in the case. The investigation leading to two others, Don Diego Adams and Timothy Russell, Investigators say they were also on a robbery rampage in the city, targeting seniors for robberies as many as 13 times. When you look at uh, these violent predatory suspects that in a span of a short four months committed 13 robberies, uh, that's a problem. Judge Berg is working in Flint today. He says his recovery has been long, but now he's walking under his own power and he's reacting to the big break in his case. Well, I watched the press conference. I just wanted to say I'm very grateful to the Detroit Police Department and the FBI and the Violent Crime Task Force and the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office for their efforts on the case. And uh, from what I can tell, they just did a fantastic job in marshalling the evidence and uh, bringing these charges. And so I just want to say thank you to them for all the work that they did. Coming up a bit later on Local 4 News, starting at 5 o'clock, we'll hear a lot more from the judge how this shooting has impacted him as far as his injuries and also his outlook on living in Detroit as well. So much more from the judge coming up. Kevin Smith, in the meantime, the alleged gunman in this case, already been arraigned to Everett. He's being held on a half million dollars bond right now. We're live in downtown Detroit at this noon hour. Sean Lay, Local 4.